I'm gonna hate watching this a little bit back when I'm editing, seeing myself sit down and try not to look fat. Am I too late though? Because I'm, I'm gonna end up slouching. Probably. Maybe I should. Maybe I should lift myself up. Pop yourself up a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> Um, and there was a follow-on sort of with that, um, Matt and Lindsay uh, brought up a specific photo of me. Yes, uh, this one, I think I'll pop it up on the screen now. Yep, um, so in reference to the photo, which is somewhere on this screen, <laughs> um, he asked, how was this photo achieved um, and how much of it was post-production? Okay, well that particular shoot, we went to an abandoned warehouse that was out in the middle of the city. And that was because on that particular day I was trying to practice with using flash on location, if you remember. Yeah. And we had a bit of trouble setting it up because that particular day was so, so, so windy. I was so cold. Yeah, it was, it was freezing. freezing. And the wind that was going through was just so cold. Because this warehouse that we were in, a lot of the walls are missing because it's old, so the wind would just race across the field. So the lights were shaking, I had like double sandbags yeah, so sand all over. There was this big sort of soft box that I didn't even really... Like I brought it along for a nice big soft light but I was too frightened to set it up because yeah. I thought it was going to go all Mary Poppins and fly away. Um, so that specific photo actually was taken just with natural light at the end but using the architecture of the building to act as natural reflectors and uh, colours. So there was... To the, I think, what, the left of the photo is a wall, but that's actually a sliding door. So where I was parallel to me coming across to hit Matt from a left forward angle is a, like a big door with all this light spilling through you. And then the rim light of the, um, the background is creating all those edges throughout like his V-line, hex and all that sort of thing. To be honest, those particular shots don't really involve much post-production because the kind of colour management that existed from the lens and the white lines I'd done on location was already pretty nice. Um, the main thing I did do though was that there were a bunch of buildings behind his head that were sort of just blobs of colour because the depth of field was so shallow that they had blurred out and so I removed those because they were kind of sticking out of his head at awkward angles. Um, other than that, just a little bit of skin cleanup, colour adjustments, um, playing around with like the, the dirtiness of the concrete and the metal. Um, that shot was actually, like, and that, that particular shoot in general, because at the time Matt was preparing for like a physique competition, yeah. so he was like in prime form. There wasn't really anything I needed to do because I was also very hungry. <laughs> very so yeah, he's hungry, he had that nice serious face, yeah, yeah. he was looking all lean. We had a lot of trial and error, I think. We, we moved around a lot, we sort of, we'd take some shots and if we didn't like how they looked, we'd move to a different situation mm -hmm. or a different area and it was good because there were so many different areas in that warehouse that we could work with and as you say, it was all mostly natural so it was good to be able just to work on mm -hmm. that. I couldn't like get the warehouse to work in terms of I borrowed a particular lighting kit, it was I think a wrong colour lighting kit, but it only stops down to um, like an F6 sort of exposure. So because of that, I couldn't um, I couldn't create the blurry sort of backgrounds I was after because um, I needed to have the aperture set to like F6 or higher to expose him correctly because obviously you can't increase the shutter speed above like a 250th of a second when you're using flash or whatever the flash allows. And that kind of bothered me because there was a lot of roof trusses, rusted metal and all these busy things in the background that um, were distracting if I couldn't let the fall off in focus remove them so that he would sort of pop in the frame. So that particular day the natural light worked better but now I use a pro photo kit which stops down to like an f2 sort of level so that's much better and if I were to go back there with Matt Eva and the wind didn't blow us away I think I could get better results using that particular yeah, so I still think we did a pretty good job. I think so. I was happy with that shoot. Yeah, I think it was one of our better ones, particularly considering that we were so blessed to get such a nice natural light. Yeah, absolutely. Um, but yeah, maybe next time we'll, we'll not have to fight the elements. Definitely. And I won't be hungry. <laughs>